Hello, I'm Michael O'Malley, I'm the SAG Calculator's Programmer Creator. Um, I'd like to talk to you now about some advanced topics, so we're now going to talk about all the things we haven't talked about yet. Okay, so we've looked at the reset button briefly, but we'll talk about that in some more information. And then we'll go and look, on look at the, uh, the menus the program provides. So we've covered all the buttons so far, we've covered all of those, and then we're going to talk about some menus. Okay, that the program provides. Uh, the new menu, the save as menu, the load settings and other project menu item, uh, delete projects, uh, restore factory defaults, and the always on top and about. Okay, so they're, they're all the things we've got left to talk about, then we've covered pretty well everything. And then it's just a matter of you coming up to speed on the program, uh, become com become comfortable, and that's just by using the program. Okay, uh, before I go on, if you haven't looked at the uh, the introductory basics video yet, stop, you're not ready for this video. Okay, so if you're proceeding on, I assume you've worked through the, uh, the introductory video, and at least had a good old play with the program. Okay, so let's have a look at our table of contents. So we'll look at the reset button. So the reset button, when you click that, there's three options provided to you. Um, and there's a yes option, and uh, that resets all the SAG span cable data, but leaves all the setup data intact. There's cancel, which means do nothing. And then there's yes to all, which resets all SAG span data and resets all existing information back to, uh, back to, back to blank. Back, back to nothing. So you can cancel it, that's a safe option, uh, and that leaves everything intact. If you go yes, then it will reset all the SAG and SPAN stuff, so all the stuff inside here, but it will leave all the setup stuff behind uh, alone that'll be intact still. So if we click yes there, uh, everything's gone. So all our SAGs, all our SPANs are gone, and in here, um, our settings are still there, but all the data we've preserved is gone. Okay, so there's uh, the, the setups, the settings are still there from the setup screen, so that's why there's still items there in the, in the, in the combo boxes. But um, all of this, all of the cable sags that we've, we've sagged or checked are gone. Okay, and if we go yes to all, that, that erases everything. So our, our, um, our inspectors are gone, our project descriptions are gone, and all our, all our stuff in the, in the drop downs here are gone as well. So all, all the setup stuff up there is back to being like it was when the program was first installed. Okay, so that's the reset button there. Um, why would you want to press the reset button? Well, you're finished with one project and you're ready to start another. That would be the main reason to do it. Okay, and uh, in that case, you'd probably go yes to all. Okay. If you were starting a new project um, and you wanted to just erase all, erase all the SAGs, SAGs and SPAN stuff, uh, but you want to keep the settings, uh, for example, because you have the same cables and tower structures for the new project, then you could just go yes, okay? And then don't forget to go a file save as to give it a new name, otherwise you could overwrite your, your old project. So it's always better to go reset and go all, and then go uh, and then go save and give it a new name. So that might be Rocky Mountains 2, the steep part or something like that. So give yourself nice, meaningful file names, okay? Uh, and even put the, you can even put the contract You can do that sort of thing, you know, and, and start date. Even, even put all that sort of stuff in the file name as well. Whatever you can get away with in the file name, it's always better to be uh, meaningful. Okay, I just killed the file name there, so I didn't save it. Okay, let's go back to our table of contents. Um, there's a new button as well, and that basically does what the reset all does for everything. Okay, it just erase, erases everything. The settings up here, all the spans and all the cable sag stuff. It all gets erased when you press new. Okay. Um, if you were if you were doing it on a project and you hadn't saved something yet, you would be prompted to save it. In fact, let's do that. So I'll open the Rocky Mountains again, and um, and I'll go File New. And uh, the first thing we're going to get prompted to is, uh, do you want to save your data? Okay, warning, you might lose data. Okay, so you need to choose to save it. Or no means you you don't want to save it. Okay, so just be careful there. Um, okay, so you got the file new. There's a save as button. So if you got the uh, um, 
the Rocky Mountains project and you want to give it a new name, you can go File Save As. Okay, and then type in a new name. Okay, so when you click open now, you've got two projects. One's a steep section one, and one's a normal section. So you've got uh, two projects with the same name. Okay, so like I've been saying all the way through, meaningful names are important. <laughs> okay, um, so that's a save as. Um, if you were going to start a project, uh, let's do a new. Okay, so now everything's blank. Uh, let's pretend you're going to start a project, but it actually had the same settings up here that you, you wanted to keep from another project. Okay, so for example, the same inspectors, the same cable details, the same structure details, and you didn't want it to enter all that information again. And of course, why would you? <laughs> That's where the load settings for another project comes in. Okay, so um, it does a reset all and then lets you do an open. And if you're sure, you say yes. The dialogues are all pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so now you can choose a project you want to you want to load the settings from. So if I choose that one, then uh, all the settings from that project are there. Okay, but all the SAG span stuff and cable SAG stuff is all blank. The drop downs are there because um, that comes from a settings screen. Okay, but all, you haven't actually done any sagging yet and there's no span data yet. Okay, so it gives you a blank slate with just the settings to start work on. So as soon as you enter in the same structure stuff all over again and the same inspector stuff and so on. Okay, so it's a pretty good shortcut that. Um, then you've got stuff like uh, delete projects. Uh, and if you go delete projects, uh, then you can select a bunch of projects and go delete. Okay, and it erases all the files to the project, so you don't want to do that <laughs> unless you really want to delete the stuff. Okay, it'll be gone off your hard drive or off your USB drive or whatever. Okay, so it will erase your data. Okay, so only, only do that when you want to really delete stuff. Um, it's restore factory defaults, and what that does. Um, uh, the dialog there tells you pretty well what it does. It restores the program back to how back to the state it was in when you first installed it. So the size and shape of the main window, um, all data currently loaded into the program will be replaced. The default field light will go back to to Zenith, and um, and that initial program introduction screen, which first popped up when we first ran the program, uh, will start being displayed again. Let you check that little checkbox on the screen to say don't don't display it again. Okay, and you want to continue or not? I'll cancel. Okay, so that might be something you want to do as well. Um, and uh, the always on top one is interesting. Um, so if you click always on top, that'll be checked. There'll be a little check mark there. And then if I alt tab to something else, um, my program stays on top. So even if you click this one here, SAG calculator still stays on top. So that might be useful if you're if, if you've got a chart, for example, you're reading, and uh, you want to type in data directly into into SAG calculator. And you could type it in from this chart that's behind, for example. Okay. And if you want to turn that off again, just, just select it again. Okay, and that'll become unchecked. So it's unchecked now. Um, and there's the about screen, and that's all we have all we have left to cover. So there's the about screen, and that shows you um, my email address and my website. Okay, and they're both links, so you can click on those and it will open your email client, or if you click on that, it'll open your web browser and take you to my web page. Okay, uh, and that's about it. That's all the advanced features covered. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, the, the whole trick with using the program is have a look at the help and have a good read of that getting started guide and have a play with the program. Before you go out into the field and use the program for real, have a good play with the program. Work through the introductory video, work through the getting started guide and the help and um, and just have a, have a play. You know, don't, don't try and do it with real data or uh, whatever and just have a play and become comfortable with the program. And once you've worked through the videos and, and, and set up your own projects and sagged some stuff and spanned some stuff and uh, created some structures and that sort of thing, uh, then you should pretty well know everything to do with the program. Okay, so it's just a matter of uh, um, trialing it and seeing it. Okay, so I hope the videos have been useful. And uh, if you've got any questions, you can always, and you can't find the answers in the help or, uh, uh, or in the videos, then uh, please drop me an email and um, I'll help you as best as I can. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful.